We are here with three of my favorite guys at Boots and Hearts, Tim and the Glory Boys. How are you guys? We're so good. It's so good to be here. Very so good. good to see you guys. Yeah. It's been it's been a long time. I haven't seen you guys in person in a while, so this sure. feels really good. And you guys have had a lot of exciting stuff, but we're going to start off with not one, not two, not three, but four CCMA nominations this yeah, year. Yeah. Four? Yeah. That is insane. How cool is that? It's very cool. It's it's. Cool times four, man. We, <laughs> cool we've times four. Uh, we've had one and two previous uh, yes. CCMAs, but four, uh, it feels really good, and it's it's for categories that are, are really kind of special to us. Mm -hmm. It's group of the year, um, video video of the year, songwriter, songwriter of the year. Yeah. So that's especially personally satisfying to yeah. me. And what's the other one? Album. Album. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you know. <laughs> yeah, I got I got you. Some big awards up for grabs. And that's really cool. Like you said, they're very different awards. So like mm. you're getting recognized for your videos, which you guys always do an incredible oh. job of. They're Thanks. so fun and storytelling. But an album, I feel like having a record where you've put so much time and thought into yeah. have that recognized, that's gotta be pretty special. Yeah, it's very special. And this album too, it was uh for it was started like before COVID. And then we held Long on to those songs coming. for years. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then finally it, it made sense to put an album together and there was a bunch of singles already that people had heard. So it's been really cool for people to hear it, but then for it to be nominated within months of releasing it. I know it's just how the cycle lines up, but yeah. it's, it feels really good. So cool. So new album, more music. Are you guys working on that right now? Is it done? Is it coming? Not oh, to like take away the tea, from the, no, no. not to take away from the nominated album, the but mystery, yeah. that one's so passe yeah. already. We're not over yet. It. Yeah. Well, after September. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, there's always new music in the works yeah. and always trips with new songs being, you know, kind of given to us, be like, you into this, or Tim's down writing in LA or Nashville all the time. So there's always things in the works. It's cool. just putting it all together and kind of seeing what fits, you know. Any cool writes that have happened lately? Because I feel like you guys have had some songs that with some really epic writers on them. Like Brad Rempel obviously is one of them. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of really cool Nashville writers that, you know, I put a lot of time into the songwriting community on my show, New and Now, every weekend. Because I feel like the songwriting world is a really cool one that a lot of fans don't really know a lot about. So has there been any songwriting sessions that have been really notable? I mean, I w I've got to get into the studio again with uh, Alan Salmon and uh, Randy Clausen. So cool. Who uh, wrote Float with me. Yes. And uh, we wrote a song called Beach Please, which I really hope is going to I was going to say, it. is there like a Float 2.0 coming <laughs> Kinda, soon? It, if there is, it's this one. We just <laughs> yes. need Sony to love it. And you know how the whole yes. thing goes. But I love that. It's been fun to sort of uh, explore that with these seasoned writers, because they love it too. They're As much as they're amazing at writing songs about pickup trucks and Daisy Dukes and whatever, cold yeah. ones. Um, as we all know, like there's there's certain things in country music that are talked about and sung about over and over again, which connect with people. But it's fun to sort of uh, get in with writers and, and have a different vision than anything they've sort of approached before. Right. Certainly, uh, this this song that I'm talking about is about a Canadian. It's a Canadian winter song that's pining for the beach in the middle okay. of January. Okay, I was like a winter song. Okay, I it's get it It's also cool to like <laughs> be in with these American writers and um, force them to use like degrees Celsius. Right. They're like. And How cold is that? Yeah, How warm yeah is exactly. That? It like, sounds so weird. Twenty nine. Yeah. Hang yeah. on, twenty nine like, degrees. Are you frozen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, is there something that each of you have kind of put on your bucket list for the group that you would like to cross off sometime soon? Mm. Like yeah. to play with or to or just anything like a show you want to play, a tour you want to be mm. on, a venue you want to go to. Brenton, I think this is your time oh, to shine. You're gonna put yeah. it right on to, yeah. right to me. Hey? The well, pressure is on. I mean, I want to say playing Boots and Hearts this weekend. I mean, what a I, I know it's the easy <laughs> answer. Almost, I'm not gonna wow, take yeah. it, guys. We're almost gonna like, check it. it. We're not though. there yet. It absolutely is that kind of that kind of gig. This is one of the gig. biggest festivals in Canada, and we're just stoked to be here. And uh, we've we've visited before and had a little performance, but never on the big stages mm -hmm. like this. So we're uh, yeah, it's uh, unbelievable for us. Super cool. Yeah. All right. Next up. I'm over the tour bus. I'm ready for a private jet tour. I like that. Yeah. Let's okay. manifest. Yeah. Big, Seriously, big, I like big that. Dream, private yeah. jet. I'm not over the bus, though. No. no. <laughs> not You'll really. You'll take the bus until the private jet, <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. rolls over. Uh, last week, I got the chance to go to Los Angeles with okay. my 14 year old daughter, Haven. Cool. Who I have promised uh, a Taylor Swift experience for half her life. So we, we got to see Taylor at SoFi. I have with 70,000 other people. You right now. I'm going to try to hold it back. Yeah, no worries. She's coming to Toronto. Should be easy yeah. to get tickets. Only 31 million other people yeah. are in line, but it's fine. I've just, not, I've just not experienced that kind of fandom before. I don't think we have one fan 
as dedicated as all 70,000. Yes, you do. You do. In have. that stadium. I don't know. You you weren't there. They were insane. <laughs> They're crazy. They are My crazy. My daughter is insane. I've never seen her like that. It's what a cult. It's awesome. What are Tim and the Glory Boys fans called? Like, you got the Swifties. What, what are... What are the glory gang people. Glory gang. That's glory good. Right. Glory gang. That works. The glory yeah. gang. Did we just, is that I your fan I think we club? just did. Good yeah. job, yeah. Colin. Okay. Right. Glory gang. We've yeah. had meetings Sign about this. Delivered. Yeah. All you need to do is sit with me. Seriously. I feel like we everything gets sparked in it. Yes. We need to do this more often. <laughs> All right. So for this year, you've got some shows, like tours coming up. we got CCMAs. But what is something that is, you know, before the end of 2023 that you're maybe most looking forward to? I mean, we're getting back on our, our hard ticket to the hometown hoedown. Okay. Uh, we're finally playing the uh, East Coast. Yes. Sorry, Newfoundland. Well, not Newfoundland. <laughs> it's just too They're hard in. to get there. Yeah. <laughs> not daddy. Sorry. East-ish. East-ish. And, and the East-ish tour. Yes. We're playing three times in Quebec. We, okay. We're kind of covering a, a half dozen markets in Ontario that we haven't hit yet. But for us to be able to wrap this tour up and to be able to get back as, as fun as the festivals are, and it, it's such a good time. Cool. It's a different muscle for us. Like mm-hmm. it feels like it, we're kind of a different band. We strip it down. It's much more bluegrassy when we're nice. by ourselves. So we're excited for that. I am, anyways. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's cool Are for you your... guys. Yeah. Totally. I feel like that's cool for like your fans that have been there for the beginning because they totally. get to see you know kind of where you guys started, but also for your newer fans get mm-hmm. to see like a different side of your show too. Yeah, and, and stripped they're stripped down like they're that. They're showing up. Yeah, like fans that have only heard us on the radio or yeah. Are, are showing up to our, our shows and it's, it feels so good too. Gives me like need to breathe vibes. Yeah. That yeah. kind of show. Yeah, yeah I can deal sure. with that. Absolutely. Yeah. They're one of my faves. That's a great reference. All right. We're going to play a game in just a second, but before we get to that, it was so good to see you guys at Boots and Hearts, Tim and the Glory Boys.